Hi, Don Lewis here, welcoming you to your next stop on this Save the Crafty YouTuber video hop. Today, I wanted to share with you one of my favorite ways of making cards quickly and easily using pre-stamped and colored images. If you love to color on the go, but wonder what to do with those images, keep watching this video for some ideas for quick cards that you can use to brighten someone's day. I'll talk more about the hop during the video, but right now I wanted to show you the cards we're making today. This project is zero waste, perfect for small stamps and using up scraps and stash. I will be using the Sea Friends stamp by Kindred Stamps, one of the amazing video hop sponsors, and using a few different card folds and techniques with a bonus stepped up card and a few ideas for each design. We're gonna start with a single 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. To create the bases, it's so easy. Cut the piece in half, cut those pieces in half, and cut those pieces in half. You will be left with eight pieces that measure six by three inches, which is not only efficient, but also really cost effective. You'll see the measurements on the screen. While I'm cutting, I wanted to remind you that when you leave a comment on any of the videos in this hop, you're not only letting the creator know how much you enjoyed their work, but the more comments you leave, the greater your chances of winning one of over 125 very cool prizes. Be sure to let me know if you are in the USA or elsewhere in the world like myself. And we're going to get stuck into card number one. This is the simplest and most basic of cards. It could be side fold or top fold. And being that these are only three inches squared, you actually don't have a huge canvas to fill. This is really helpful when you have small stamp sets or the stamps in your set are small. For the basic card, I'm adding a single layer panel to the card base, which measures two and a half inches square. That leaves a nice, neat quarter inch border all the way around, which I really like. Stamping and coloring single layer panels is a really quick way to create clean and simple cards. They're perfect to have on hand for those last minute birthday parties. You know, when the invitation's been jammed in the bottom of someone's backpack, or I like to have get well ones to send out last minute when a friend is unwell. You can die cut your panel, or you could just use your trimmer to cut it to the right size. If you want to step up this basic card, maybe add a slightly larger mat for a fine border, blend some distress ink around the panel or the card or both, add some sequins or clear drops to create tiny bubbles, or try heat embossing the sentiment to add a bit more shine. I also thought I'd mention that you have until the 7th of November to comment on as many videos as possible to get into that prize draw. Right, card number two, and we are going to create a card with a decorative edge because sometimes it's just fun to do something a little bit different. To create the decorative edge on this card, I'm using the Lawn Fawn Stitched Wave Borders die set. I put the wave along the top of the card to give that kind of under the sea feeling and it cuts through the front and back actually really easy first time. If you don't don't own a wave die, just wing it, draw in some waves with a pencil and then cut it out with a pair of scissors. To finish this card, I added a fussy cut image of this sweet little turtle and a stamped sentiment strip that I matted on some dark blue cardstock also from my stash. If you want to step up this basic card, you could do what I've done here. I've used a tan embossing mat to emboss waves onto the front panel using the dies, or you could blend all over the front panel with a variety of blue distressings and then spatter some water on for a really cool effect. You could use wave stencils with ink or sprays. You could cut extra cardstock from your stash and layer up an ombre wave look. You could even tuck the little turtle peeking out from the waves. That would be super cute. Now, during this hop, you probably heard why the hop exists. And as a smaller YouTube channel, I've got to say that rule change came as a bit of a surprise to me. I am so thankful to Justine for organizing this hop, especially for inviting me to join. Thank you for this, to the sponsors for putting up these amazing prizes. And thank you to you for hopping along and supporting the crafty YouTubers who love to make pretty things just like you. All right, card number three. We are going to get a little bit fancy and make a miniature gate fold card. Instead of folding this one down the middle, we're actually going to score and fold one and a half inches in from each side. The card is still three by three, but now it has two flaps that open at the front. I feel personally that it's kind of like French doors for cards. It's a bit fancy. Again, you could make this a top fold or side fold. I'm going top fold. I've created a two inch square panel. I've stamped and colored it in advance and I've just layered that onto, yes, another piece of dark blue cardstock from my scrap stash. Now apply some adhesive to the back of the panel, but only to the top half. That's going to stick to the top door of this card. So it looks like an ordinary card, but when you open the panel, 
it shows you the gorgeous little sentiment that we've stamped inside. Do you want to step up this basic card? So easy. Stamp an accessory stamp, maybe like the bubbles all over the front of the card base tone on tone. You could mask the fish and ink blend from the center out. That would look really cute. Why not two panels? Put a stamped image over on the right hand side, but put a stamped sentiment on the left hand side. Or you could add a decorated belly band or cuff to keep your card closed. Maybe put a surprise sentiment underneath or some extra images. That would be super cute as well. Now, if you are loving kindred stamps you are definitely not alone i love them so much that i begged order to let me be her first international stockist i really love that i can bring australian stampers their kindred fix without the international shipping and i'll link below to where you can find kindred stamps in australia as well as links to the usa and uk stockists card number four we're going a little crazy we're not going to do a square card we're turning it into a circle for this one i cut the base in half i cut each half into three inch circles and on the back panel i I've used my bone folder to score and fold a line about a third of an inch in from the edge to create a hinge. Pop some strong adhesive on that little hinge, put the non-textured sides of your circles together and you'll find that the card is a perfect circle but it still opens and closes because of that clever little hinge. To finish the card, I've added a two and a half inch circle, also pre-stamped and colored. I also curved one of the sentiments so that it fit nicely around the edge of the circular card. Want to step this one up? So easy. I blended some Distress Ink around the edge of the card and chipped Sapphire. I added a few drops of water and then I stamped the bubbles over the top using the same ink, but second generation stamping. You could add a circle frame. Oh, make it gray, put in some faux rivets, porthole frame you could also port some acetate in make this a shaker card a peep window card or even a spinner card if you'd want to turn this into a top folding card i say it's perfectly acceptable to lop a little straight edge at the bottom so that it stands up without rolling off the table now i have to say i had so many more ideas for this set that i am itching to turn this single video into a series and if you'd like to see more of that hit the subscribe button so you can watch the next episode don't forget this video hop is a five day event. Each day has a new theme and you never know when you'll find your new favorite crafty YouTuber. Below you can find a link to the next video in the hop as well as all the products that I used today. If you enjoyed this video, I would sure appreciate a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment to go into the prize draw. And if you choose to subscribe, I thank you in advance and look forward to bringing you some cool new videos very soon. I do hope that you have a very crafty day. Enjoy the rest of the hop and I will see you next time. Bye for now.